Nike is a world-renowned brand which is associated with athletes from all around the world. One of its advertisements preaches that success is earned by hard work in the form of blood, sweat and tears. But apart from the Nike reference, while considering all the documented instances of sudden cardiac death in athletes, the blood, sweat and tears can have a completely different meaning altogether. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Sami Rane and I'm an Associate Professor in Cardiology at UNMICRC, Ahmedabad. My presentation for today is Hypertension in Athletes and I have no disclosures. So this presentation will discuss the terminology, the epidemiology, clinical manifestations, outcomes and management of hypertension in athletes. We are not discussing about athlete's heart, which is a normal physiological and anatomical change to an athlete's demand. The ESC, European Society of Cardiology, defines an athlete's athlete as an individual of young or adult age, either amateur or professional, who is engaged in regular exercise, training and participates in official sports competitions. Similarly, the American Heart Association and others define a com competitive athlete as an individual involved in regular, uh, usually intense training in organized individual or team sports with an emphasis on competition and performance. And an athlete can also be defined and include participants at all levels of sports, including competitive, recreational and fitness conscious people. Athletes belonging to all ages are involved in competitive uh, recreational sporting activities during youth, uh, their school, college days, university level, and at semi-professional, professional, or uh, national and international levels. Each athlete is distinguished on the basis of his or her involvement in that particular activity. In terms of volume of exercise, elite, a, elite athletes are ones who... Uh, compete at national uh, level, though are Olympians and professional athletes generally who exercise uh, greater than 10 um, uh, days per week, uh, sorry, uh, 10 hours per week. And competitive athletes and are those who are uh, those who participate in school, college, uh, maybe practicing around greater six, around six to uh, six hours per week. And uh, rec recreational ones are who practice or work out around four hours per week. There may be some overlap of features between uh, these groups also. Then the ESC and uh, European Society of Hypertension and the ACC AHA guidelines and recommendations for hypertension exist. Uh, these blood pressure guidelines are updated as uh, new data or data from clinical trials emerge. The 2018 ACC AHA and ESC ESH guidelines interpret I interpreted uh, similar da data with a fundamental difference of uh, different uh, blood pressure goals, uh, 140 less than 145 by 90 millimeters of uh, mercury for ESC, uh, ESC and European Society of Hypertension, and less than 130 by 80 millimeters of mercury for ACC AHA. Other differences uh, include the approach to assess uh, risk and goals in older people at uh, 130. Uh, by 70 to 139 by 79 millimeters of mercury for ESC ESH, but less than 132 by 80 millimeters of mercury for ACC AHA guidelines. Implementation should include patient participation and uh, cooperation. This is a large part of the ESC and uh, ESH guideline and is mentioned but uh, not emphasized in the uh, American uh, counterpart of guidelines. Then given the re recent instances of sudden cardiac death in athletes, its awareness has grown amongst the general population. More people are coming forward with the question of pre-participation screening uh, in sporting events. Then also numerous studies have shown that hypertension is an independent uh, risk factor or risk predictor for sudden cardiac death. This has led to the evolution of the concept of using hypertension as one of those uh, screening tools or basically tools for pre-participation screening. Then in a pre-participation screening program, hypertension can easily be screened for and diagnosed with a minimal setup. Uh, the, uh, regarding the epidemiology, hypertension affects approximately one-fourth of the world's population. It is also a contributor to poor cardiovascular health. 
does this high prevalence of hypertension in the general population also reflect in athletes? Uh, well, it is the most common condition identified at participation uh, or at participa pre-participation screening. Then BP and prevalence of hypertension in athletes vary considerably because of uh, various, multiple, uh, various factors. Then uh, poor pre-participation program protocols pa are partly because of variations in method or methodology, but uh, type and intensity of training may contribute to this higher uh, blood pressure also. Then all the epidemiolog epidemiological studies uh, found a positive association between the presence of hypertension and uh, left ventricular hypertrophy. Then in this uh, systematic review, Burge and colleagues uh, aim to review blood pressure and prevalence of hypertension in different elite athletes and study whether there was an association between high blood pressure and left ventricular hypertrophy. Uh, they had selected 51 out of, three un uh, of, mo out of more than 3,000 uh, records by identifying u uh, uh, using various uh, inclusion criteria. These uh, included men and women. Uh, the sample size was ar around uh, one, th one lakh, more than a lakh, and uh, aged between 18 to 40 years from varied sports uh, disciplines. They disciplines. They concluded that blood pressure and prevalence of hypertension in athletes vary considerably, partly because of variations in uh, measurement me uh, in the methods used for measuring blood pressures, but the type and intensity of training seem to play a role in uh, this in the prevalence of BP also. Then strength trained athletes have had significantly higher blood pressure than endurance uh, trained athletes and vigorous physical activity did not seem to reduce blood pressure in athletes compared uh, with controls. Then the most striking finding in this review was that the methods of blood pressure measurement in athletes were poorly standardized and varied widely. The prevalence of hypertension varied from 83% to 0% because, diff because of different uh, cutoff values for hypertension in different studies. Then uh, the age group of the study population also differed. Then uh, there was some use in some studies, there was use of uh, antihypertensive medications. Then this figure from the same study uh, shows the mean blood pressure in different categor categories of athletes. Uh, males had significantly higher blood pressure than females. The p-value was around uh, somewhat less than 0 0.05. But uh, there was uh, no significant difference in the systolic blood pressure between the white and the black athletes. The authors of this, this study also found that the strength-trained athletes had higher blood pressure than endurance athletes. And uh, there was also a trend towards higher blood pressure in athletes training more than 10 hours per week compared with those training less than 10 hours per week. There was no major difference between, the, uh, between American football, between different sports, basically American football, soccer, triathlon and long distance running. Then uh, this uh, review also added that there was no evidence that blood pressure was lower in athletes than in controls. A uh, number of studies showed a higher blood pressure in athletes. Then the prevalence of hypertension in athletes could not be determined reliably because of different definitions of hypertension and poorly standardized methods of blood pressure measurement. Further studies should be designed to determine more precisely the prevalence, determ determinants and prognostic sig significance of hypertension in uh, athletes from various disciples. Then moving on to the methods of uh, methods to assess blood pressure. Hypertension guidelines recommend that blood pressure should be assessed in both arms at the initial visit and, and the arm with uh, the higher blood pressure should be used for blood pressure uh, assessment at uh, subsequent uh, visits. A unique athlete like the one shown up here, the, the lower limbs can be used uh, in place of uh, the upper limbs to measure the blood pressure. Then, uh, although automated spigmomanometry and oscillometric devices validated to measure blood pressure during exercises are available, manual cuff auscultation is the most com a commonly employed method because it is easier and does not require expensive automated equipment. 
mercury sphygmomanometer manometer has uh, have been taken out of uh, use due to its toxicity concerns and has been replaced with aneroid and automated blood pressure monitoring devices a measurement of the 90th percentile obtained by oscillometric device should be repeatedly should be repeated by a uh, manual auscultation only after several elevated readings greater than 2 have been obtained on separate occasions should the diagnosis of hypertension be made then out of office blood pressure measurements can uh, be taken to delineate true high blood pressure if the diagnosis is in question further details concerning the measurement of blood pressure are available and easily accessible then uh, this is a very wordy slide the two tables are a summary of recommendations for blood pressure measurement in an athlete during an exercise and are e- and are easily available on the internet and uh, systolic blood pressure by diastolic blood pressure of greater than 200 by 110 is a contraindication for exercise special mention is made of about measuring the diastolic blood pressure due to white pulse pressure during the exercise if the subject is tightly gripping the rails then it can give an anor- uh, erroneous uh, blood pressure readings the figure this figure from a paper by sharman and others shows a typical setup for op- appropriate blood pressure measurement by manual auscultation during the exercise uh, stress testing and in another paper by the same author uh, sharman and all showed the normotensive and hypertensive response uh, due to dynamic physical exercise the no- the normotensive response uh, which are which is shown here in solid arrows arrows shows systolic blood pressure gradually increasing in a curvy linear fashion with exercise intensity whereas diastolic blood pressure remains uh, largely unchanged or slightly decreased and uh, hypertensive response is uh, depicted by broken arrows and illustrates how both systolic and diastolic brush- blood pressure may increase to a greater extent than a normotensive response crossing a respective blood pressure thresholds note that this could uh, occur at any exercise intensity that denote exercise uh, hypertension which is systolic more than 210 mm and uh, in for males and greater than 190 in uh, mm of mercury in females and a diastolic pressure of more than 110 for both males and females then this figure provides an example of uh, maximal exercise bp response in healthy men and women the normal systolic blood pressure response to each increase in exercise intensity is a rise in that appropriate Uh, is is a rise in that uh, approximately 10 uh, plus minus 2 milliliters millimeters of uh, mercury per metabolic equivalence that's mets and may plateau at peak exercise diastolic blood pressure generally decreases but may not change with uh, increasing intensity thus overall there is a stepwise increase in pulse pressure from uh, rest to peak exercise there is little clarity in the literature as to what may uh, contribute uh, what may cons- uh, what may constitute normal submaximal or maximal intensity exercise blood pressure although maximal responses are co- uh, commonly uh, cited as being systolic blood pressure of 210 mm of mercury in men and uh, 190 mm of mercury in women with the diastolic blood pressure of 110 mm of uh, mercury in both on the basis of these values being below the upper limits of normal however these uh, systolic blood pressure cut off points may not be applicable to people aged 40 years where the blood pressure responses below the 90th percentile exceed these values a few of hypertension a uh, few patterns of uh, hypertension and need to have a specific mention Uh, all all the above page pa- all the above patients have been shown to have a negative impact on cardiovascular health then uh, white coat hypertension is defined as an elevated office blood pressure but normal blood pressure during ambulatory bp monitoring evidence about the prevalence of white coat hypertension in athletes is scarce then mast hypertension is defined as a normal office blood pressure with elevated blood pressures at ambulatory bp monitoring that is greater than 135 by 85 mm of mercury in out of office 
and less than 140 by 90 millimeters of mercury in uh, in the office so hypertensive response to exercise which is also hre is defined as a difference between peak and baseline systolic blood pressure of at least 60 millimeters of mercury in men and at least 50 millimeters in women during exercise testing or as a systolic blood pressure exceeding 210 millimeters in uh, men and greater than 190 millimeters in women these values i'm keeping on repeating and will be repeated throughout the this presentation then uh, inappropriately low blood pressure during exercise is an absolute indication to terminate exercise testing and is defined by american heart association as a drop in systolic blood pressure greater than 10 millimeters of mercury persistently below the baseline despite an increase in workout when accompanied by any other evidence of uh, ischemia there may be ecg changes or uh, symptoms uh, as mentioned by the described by the patient other definition criteria include a systolic blood pressure fall of greater than uh, 20 mm mercury from the highest value during the test or failure of systolic blood pressure to increase Uh, by a uh, uh, due uh, failure to increase of systolic blood pressure to increase with increased workload then why is pre participation screening important the pre participation evaluation ppe of athletes goes beyond diagnosing hypertension and preventing a nose bleed the rational for diagnosing hypertension and uh, the rational for screening athletes Uh, for hypertension is that uh, the incidence of scd is 2.5 time almost 2.5 higher among these individuals compared to normal population which is um, in most cases is related to an identifiable structural or electrical cardiac disorder the pre participation uh, examination provides some unique challenges and opportunities for a population of children and adolescents who may otherwise rarely Uh, seek medical care these uh, otherwise healthy uh, patients may have no other interaction with a medical profession uh, so the pre participation examination should be taken seriously by parents parents athletes and medical providers and not uh, just be treated as an administrative barrier to uh, sports participation the pre participation uh, examination monograph published by the american academy of pediatrics is an excellent resource it's available on the internet and offers evidence based guidelines for pediatricians and other healthcare providers uh, in uh, yeah schweiger and others have uh, suggested a flow chart for the initial evaluation of athletes consisting of clinical history physical examination blood pressure measurement and resting ecg blood pressure measurements should be carried out as recommended by the uh, european society uh, 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 society guidelines or society of cardiology guidelines and then ambulatory blood pressure monitoring is recommended to correctly diagnose patients with white coat hypertension then in case of ambulatory blood pressure monitoring i uh, uh, confirms in case if this confirms that the patient is uh, the athlete is having hypertension further diagnostic tests may be required based on family history or clinical examination then percentile charts are available and according to the esc the threshold for hypertension is the 95th percentile whereas results between the 90th and 95th percentile only require appropriate follow up measurements secondary causes of hypertension account for 5 to 10% of diagnosed hypertension in athletes then transthoracic echocardiography should complement the pre participation examination in athletes diagnosed with hypertension to detect signs of hypertensive heart disease however a condition called the athlete's heart needs to be kept in mind then uh, we have seen the slide before and uh, as a to a tool to evaluate cardiovascular risk during a as a uh, tool to evaluate cardiovascular risk then uh, during a t pre uh, during a pre participation screening program hypertension can easily be screened and screened for and diagnosed with minimal setup this assessment of hypertension has to be carried out in the context of other cardiovascular risk factors and uh, resulting target organ damage like cardiovascular and or renal complications the score 
or the score to op algorithms are for regions of europe and the authors of score uh, authors of score also issue a cautionary um, cautionary when uh, when they had written this uh, particular score the use of these algorithms in country countries regions not included in the original publication is at one's own discretion and uh, under one's uh, sole responsibility the uh, terms low moderate high and very high risk correspond to appropriate appro- to approximate absolute uh, 10 year uh, risks of cardiovascular mortality of less than 1% 1 to 4% 5 to 10% and greater than 10% respectively according to the european score system as defined by the 2016 esc prevention guidelines then the intention behind the score uh, web based program is not to impose unnecessary risk knowledge on a large group of people if they are not prepared to cope with the changes in uh, lifestyle proposed the idea is that the uh, the idea is that the doctor and the patient determine together a risk reduction which will give the best results and which will be adapted to the individual patient and his or her ability to cope with them uh with these uh, lifestyle changes offered to them the hard score web based program may also be used uh, may be used in also be used in cases where there is uh, there is doubt as to whether a certain patient has a high risk of developing cardiovascular disease or if the patient requires an overview of their own risk profile and suggestions on how it can be changed the american heart Uh, association has recommended a 14 element cardiovascular screen uh, using the history and physical examination this includes high blood pressure certain red flags in the athlete's medical or family history warrant for the investigation to detect uh, cardiac abnormalities that increase uh, the risk of sudden cardiac death different regions of the world have their pre participation recommendations based on available clinical data from that particular region uh, these guidelines are recommendations to assist ringside physicians combat sports athletes trainers promoters sanctioning bodies governmental bodies and others in making uh, decisions and setting uh, policies these recommendations may be adapt- adopted modified or rejected according to clinical needs and constraints and are not intended to replace local commission laws regulations or policies already in uh, existence in addition the guidelines developed by the arp are not intended uh, as standing or absolute requirements and their use cannot guarantee any uh, specific outcomes guidelines are subject to uh, revision as warranted by the evolution of medical knowledge technology and practice they provide the basic recommendations that are supported by synthesis and analysis of the current literature expert and practitioner opinion uh, commentary and clinical feasibility then lifestyle modifications and drug therapy form the basis of treatment of hypertension non pharmacological interventions a number of lifestyle changes like diet modification daily exercise stress management can be used effectively to lower blood pressures then weight loss at 10 pounds around 4.5 kg weight loss can reduce systolic blood pressure by 5 to 20 mm of mercury and then aerobic exercise activity on 3 to 4 sessions per week with the uh, least at least uh, moderate intensity uh, each during each session and each session lasting around 40 minutes can also help to re- reduce the blood pressure up to 10 mm of mercury for those in whom exercise is not a significant part of their life guidelines are provided separately uh, and uh, that it this uh, one of the strategies also used to reduce blood pressure is stress management in the form of yoga counseling sessions and the result of a number of studies suggested that a combination of all these uh, recommended methods ha- is the best approach to uh, lower the exercise lower the blood pressure during an exercise then if the implemented lifestyle changes do not sufficiently lower the blood pressure after 3 months antihypertensive medication should be considered 
However, in some cases, such as newly diagnosed uh, stage 3 hypertension or in individuals at high to very high risk of cardiovascular complications, drug therapy should be initiated immediately. Then currently, there are no recommendations for the management of patients with uh, white coat hypertension, isolated systolic hypertension, uh, the other forms of hypertension like mast hypertension and hypertensive uh, response during exercise. Uh, so, however, as studies suggest that these uh, individuals suffering from these uh, BP patterns are at an increased cardiovascular risk, lifestyle changes should be considered uh, to know the cardiovascular risk profile. Then regular follow-up should be very thorough to identify individuals at high risk for cardiovascular uh, events. Then what are the antihypertensive medications that can be used? Athletes who uh, compete at national or international level have to review the current list of prohibited substances and, and uh, methods of the World Anti-Doping Association before starting drug therapy. If required, a therapeutic use exemption has to be obtained to receive authorization to uh, take the uh, need needed medication. So, uh, here, the preferred medications can be one of the angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors and angiotensin-2 receptor blockers. They are the preferred choice as they do not affect the exercise capacity and are not on the doping list. Calcium channel blockers are also a preferred choice in uh, athletes. They are dihydropyridines are more preferred like amlodipine and uh, nifedipine over non-dehydropyridines. Diuretics are banned at all times in all sports as they may mask performance uh, enhancing drugs. If a crossover study has shown that alpha blockers significantly decrease VO2 max and physical endurance performance uh, in athletic men and mild hypertension. Alpha blockers should be used primarily as a second line therapy in athletes. Beta blockers are rarely used as second-line therapy as they can generally not be given in athletes with uh, bradycardia having a heart rate of less than 50 per minute. Furthermore, different uh, beta blockers are available, selective, non-selective, older and new compounds. Then there are some with uh, vasodilatory properties also. These can negatively uh, affect uh, uh, aerobic-based exercises and may interfere also with uh, the compliance. So, beta blockers are prohibited and considered doping in some sports like archery and shooting where controls of tremors is sought. Then, ACE inhibitors or uh, ARBs are the preferred first-line treatments. Above uh, plus calcium channel blockers seem to be the optimal treatment for combination therapy. Alpha blockers are considered as the third agent is required to be added. And then uh, non-teratogenic alternatives should be considered. Dry hydropyridines, uh, calcium channel blockers with or without alpha-methyl dopa uh, or uh, nevitolol may be considered. Then uh, regarding supplements and other drugs. So a study of uh, American football players had found a higher prevalence of blood pressure in those football players who consume NSAIDs non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs on uh, on regular basis, but it uh, but it had many confounding factors. Then a meta-analysis was subsequently conducted by Snowden and all. They found that NSAID used in normal population is associated with an increased risk in blood pressure of 1.4 to 14 millimeters of mercury, with the highest levels in users already receiving therapy uh, for hypertension. Then one substance class commonly known to increase muscle um, uh, mus uh, muscles and blood pressure is a, is an anabolic uh, steroid. In a cross-sectional study published in 2018, Ramusen and all revealed that anabolic steroid use increases blood pressure up to 8 mm of mercury and increases the prevalence of hypertension uh, three-fold compared to uh, that with non-users. Moreover, the chronic anabolic steroid use seems to increase the aortic stiffness and also cause uh, left ventricular hypertrophy. And larger studies need to be conducted to accurately assess the blood pressure changes caused by uh, erythropoietin abuse, especially in uh, cyclists and athletes. The human growth hormone has been shown to lower blood pressure in several uh, studies. In individuals with the growth hormone insufficiency, 
seeking to obtain physiological uh, growth hormone levels. Blood pressure changes in an athlete may be difficult to uh, predict. Creatine monohydrate does not increase the prevalence of hypertension. Then several studies have uh, shown that athletes in general uh, experience uh, uh, decreased mor uh, decrease mortality and that endurance athletes in particular benefit from uh, increased longevity. However, this might not apply to all kinds of athletes as a study by uh, uh, Ronaris uh, revealed that athletes participating in power sports do not, uh, do not reap the same benefits and commonly experienced by endurance athletes. That is, uh, the all-cause uh, cardiovascular disease mortality were not significantly different from those of that general population of the general population. Then, exercise improves cardiovascular health. Beneficial changes are seen in most cardiovascular risk factors, including lipids, blood pressure, uh, insulin sensitivity, and weight. Therefore, the European Society of Cardiology (ESC) and the AHA (American Heart Association) recommend recommend exercise for the prevention and prevention and therapy of hypertension. Besides hypertension, associated other medical conditions need to be sought out. These are listed as uh, follows. Then, uh, the hypertensive athlete also needs to be evaluated for target organ damage. And these are also uh, listed in the uh, joining table. Then the European guidelines stress the importance of uh, well-controlled blood pressure in all athletes. All athletes diagnosed with hypertension need a history of uh, an ECG uh, exercise test and transthoracic uh, echo done. If there is no risk factor or the risk factors are well under control and importantly no, um, uh, no additional risk factors, then the athletes can participate in all sports. And, and followed up on 6 to 12 monthly basis. The hypertensive athletes with the presence of uh, target end organ damage can participate in all sports except power sports, uh, which are known to increase uh, blood pressure. In addition, they need to follow up at six months intervals or more frequently. Then the ACC uh, AHA scientific uh, statement on the eligibility and disqualification recommendations for competitive athletes with cardiovascular abnormalities also state similar recommendations as stated in the ESC AHA. So, uh, hypertensive athletes participating in contact sports and uh, heavy lifting and, and need a little more attention. If on the day of the event, the blood pressure is found to be elevated. The athlete is uh, is found to be elevated. The athlete is cleared for the bout if his uh, his or her systolic blood pressure is less than one sixty and diastolic blood pressure is less than hundred. The elevated blood pressure is reassessed after five minutes of rest, and if still elevated, then again after twenty to forty minutes of rest and med uh, meditation. An elevated blood pressure at this time. Uh, entails disqualification or temporary suspension on the athlete. Then long-term outcomes in hypertensive athletes, apart from a few studies which showed increased mortality amongst athletes in contact sports and uh, heavy lifting, in general there is a decreasing mortality trend amongst other sportsmen. Power athletes have a higher blood pressure compared to athletes from other sports. It is hypothesized that this elevated blood pressure could at least in part be responsible for the increased mortality rates amongst these power athletes and weightlifters. The prevalence of arterial hypertension is high overall in uh, athletes. Sudden cardiac death can be devastating and hypertension is a known risk factor for poor cardiovascular, risk, uh, cardiovascular health. Pre-participation screening for hypertension is uh, easy. Special considerations have to be given considering the pharmacological treatment of hypertension in athletes. While eligibility for competition, competitive sports may have to be restricted if target organ damage is present. An athlete with well-controlled blood pressure having no additional risk factors or target organ damage is eligible for compet uh, competition in all sports. Thank you.